packing was a lot more difficult than I had anticipated this go around. Plus I had an entire vegetable garden that I needed to plan, organize, prepare, and pack and transport. I didn't want to miss my window with this gardening season. So that just basically meant planting everything right then and there and then moving everything once it was time to move into the new house. Even though I was super busy, I made sure to make time for my own goals, like building a website with the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. If you didn't know, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that lets you create a website, a store, a blog, or even a podcast. Everything is moving online. If you have any idea that you wanna to come to light, I highly suggest getting a website and Squarespace makes it so easy. They have a variety of very useful features like 24 seven customer service. If you're not tech savvy, they have a lot Lot of different templates that you can choose from and it is not difficult at all to navigate the website. If you want to try this out first for free head over to squarespace.com and sign up for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com slash sundaylove you can save a 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you again Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, everyone. So I don't know anything. I don't know what's going where. I don't know if I even have enough space for this stuff, but I was like, I'm not gonna miss the window because all of these things have very strict timelines that you have to follow. And I was like, I'm not gonna miss my opportunity just because I'm in between houses. So yeah, I planted a butt ton of kale, just trying to find a sunny place in the house right now. I really don't know where any of this stuff is gonna go. I don't know if it's gonna go on the ground. I don't know if it's gonna go on the balcony, but I just know that I'm gonna have it <laughs> somewhere. There's like four variations and I have three trays. I have some banana peels drying back there for the soil. I'm just gonna get ready, you know? I just don't wanna not have leafy greens and stuff because I didn't plant them in time. I have even more growing upstairs. I can't wait, y'all. The balcony is in the kitchen and I just, I know that's gonna be game changing. I can't wait to set up the balcony garden. Garden balcony? Right there on the kitchen. I can just pluck stuff, throw it in a salad, throw it in a smoothie. I'm excited. packing all day long it's nighttime the first things that are gonna go over there are all my plants like all of the garden plants because I need to put those in the ground as soon as possible tonight we're driving over there and gonna drop off all of the plants right now I'm just gonna pack like a little survival bag I don't really know what to call these things just basic stuff that I'm gonna need like toilet paper paper towels cleaning supplies hand soap ramen only the super important stuff. This is my favorite smell ever in Japan. I don't know if you can see up there, but I have them hanging from the AC unit. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Laundrin, but they have a lot of different smells. I love the relaxed green tea one. So this is like a spray, like a room spray. And then this is one of those little hanky things. So while we're moving in and out a billion times, I want it to smell like me. If you ever wonder what I smell like, I smell like ramen in this. Also gonna bring a little broom. realized I packed pretty much all of my clothes and I don't have a shirt. I forgot I just had a sports bra on underneath this jacket. Um, we're gonna have to fix that. I need to take clothes out. You think I can pull this off? Does this look like it? Oh, honestly, this just looks like a crop top. No one needs to know it's a sports bra. We're good. Never mind. I found my Kyoto sweater in my unpacked luggage. Ha, wins. And now we are clothed again. <laughs> Almost forgot. The electricity still isn't on at the house yet, so I think some candles might be a good idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring some of these old ones that I'm not really using around the house. Just have to remember to blow them out and not burn the place down. A few inches later. My channel's not a lie. <laughs> My channel's only reality. After all that work taping down the plants, uh, someone made a very harsh right turn. Sure did. 
Thank goodness nothing died, but the kale took a tumble and kind of spilled all over the place. So we are back at it again with the tape. I love it, the ghetto. All right, should be sweet. I asked Ash, I was like, well, how does everybody else move their garden? He was like, they don't. Whatever. Just kidding. This Loki looks suspicious. Like we hiding a body under all these plants. Taping junk, looping ropes in the middle of the night. Stopped at 7-Eleven to get some snacks. I literally just realized I haven't eaten all day. I've just been packing. It is cold and I'm sick. So I got Odin. This is literally my favorite thing ever, but they only sell it once the weather gets cold. It's like this very light fish broth with all kind of goodies inside. You can pick which ones you want. I always get the wiener, the gristle, daikon, and fish cakes. Oh. Ash got some. A nice chicken burger. Some kind of chicken burger and they heat it up for you. I think it's chicken pickles and mayonnaise. Ew. Hot um, mayonnaise? I don't know. Hot pickles? I'm going to enjoy this. Oh. Look at the steam! Oh, also, because I'm sick, I got this hot lemon honey drink. Look at the craft in here. All right, sorry I can't find my chapstick. It's been a rough day. Just got done unloading all of the Just got done unloading all the plants and as we were like measuring stuff outside, I met one of the neighbors and I'm a little worried. <sighs> she talked so much. I don't think I've ever met any Japanese person to stop a stranger and talk that much. Oh, I hope she doesn't watch YouTube. She is my real neighbor. Like she's the only house that is not touching, but you know, like near my house. So she's the house in back of me. On the side of me, there's a street. In the front of me, there's a street. On the other side, there's like this driveway. So she's the only one. She seems much. She told me about the trash. She told me about the trash bag. She told me about the tanukis. She's like, don't plant no vegetable garden, which you know I'm doing, obviously. She's like, don't plant no vegetable garden. The tanukis gonna come and eat it up. And there's ferrets. Fer ferrets? She said there's crows and they gonna steal anything sweet. She also said there's robbers and that I need to get a security system. You don't understand how upscale and rich this area is. If y'all got robbers over here, like what, what do we have at the place I'm coming from? Like, I don't understand. Couldn't get safer. She don't know I'm from the hood. She don't know. And then she came back like four times to tell us other things. And the last time she came back to tell me, do not park my car right there. I was like, okay. But what did she say was good for my face? She said the ear. The air is the good. The air in Kamakura is good for your skin because it comes from the ocean and comes over the mountains. But that's all I got because you're speaking so fast. <laughs> I like I kept picking up words, but by the time I can understand what she's saying, she's already on a different topic. So I'm over here like, okay, the Tanukis are holding an event. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of event with the trash. Tanukis. <laughs> so many topics. This is gonna be interesting. There's like an old man coming from the gas station right here. He has like this wheelie, this cart, and he has like a tank full of gas. It seems like he must have ran out of gas somewhere, and I was like, oh, we should offer him a ride, and then I just thought about it, and I was like, it's not gonna go well. We look so creepy. Imagine us just pulling over and be like, hey, do you wanna ride? I thought it was a good idea, but then I thought about it, and I thought about how the scene would play out, and it's, it's That's sad, can't even be nice. Can't even be nice when you're bearded in black. <laughs> First time. I think I'm gonna try and pull an all-nighter to actually pack because tomorrow's my only day and I don't think I can pack an entire house in a day, so I'm gonna stay up tonight. The only thing open right now, pretty much, is Coco's and I've never been here, so I'm very excited. It's another one of those family restaurants that I've never been to, somehow. I don't want ramen right now because I'm sick and it's feel like that's gonna not help me to have energy, but I'm still, watch me still order some trash. I'll probably have anyways. Uh, old boy at the table, I promise you, I thought he was dead. I was like, we need to go over there, we need to check on him. I think he's dead. So I've been looking at his chest and he's breathing. Y'all tell me he don't look dead. Is he okay? Ooh, they got a lot of stuff. I'm excited. Whoa, this is better than Diddy's already. Oh, way better than Diddy's for sure. I'm only on page two. Oh, ooh. I do not trust wine at any of these family restaurants. Who orders wine here? Like, hey, you wanna go drink at Coco's? Yo, look at this disrespect. First, I'm gonna let you look at it, and then you're gonna tell me what you think it is. 
Okay, it looks like some kind of Spanish rice with ketchup corn sauce on top. Y'all, why does it say jambalaya? Like, if you don't quit offending me, and why is there salsa on the side if it's jambalaya? What's your egg on it? Ooh. <laughs> you lying. Where? Where? Oh my god. Y'all, the jambalaya's on the Mexican page? Like, does no one run this by you? No one verified this. Not a soul. And tell me that it look like wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of cool. All the items on the menu have numbers. 287. And then you just type in the number on the iPad and it will give you the meal. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna order a lot of garbage. 294. I guess they got robots too. Did you only bring one tray? That is a waste of gas. The head on. You better have more than one plate. Oh, she done came back with one plate. You are failing. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, God, what are you ordering? So I have some carbs, a different form of carbs, and some more carbs. See, I just should have went to McDonald's or ramen. Two cheeses in here. Oh, thank you. Oh, pudding. This is just one thing that Japan does best. Comment down below, which country has the best pudding? I bet on Japan. I'm sorry. So we all know, like, Japan is so famous for these gotcha gotcha machines, but, like, they be putting the most random stuff in here. Like, okay, we got normal characters. What is this? What? Why? And they know I'd buy it. It's gotta do with a train. Anybody want some cherry tomatoes? Maybe a cat with a shrimp hat. Copyright music, gonna put my own on right now. Oh, heck no, you gotta put it together. You know me, that will never see the light of day. Time to get serious with this packing. So, you know, I brought out the Nezuko mask because she only comes out when stuff is serious. It's serious. Is this how the packing's gonna go? So you have to hop in every box. You just test it out, making sure it's sturdy enough for the plates. Oh, yeah, I think it's sturdy enough. Can I? But I need to get in there. I do cheat. Slow down, hold on. Tight now, it's okay to meet me at the front line